On this week's episode of Sound Design Bites, I'm going to go into a bit more detail on how I take a sound and mold it into something more useful. Once you've recorded your sound, make sure that you've got the best possible audio that you can get. You may want to add a little bit of compression to the sound just to make sure that it brings out some of the subtle nuances. I've imported one of the sounds that I got from the metal cross piece into Iris 2. It sounds pretty good on its own, but I think it can be better. First, I got out my tuner so that I could set things up properly so that the instrument is pitched properly across the keyboard. I also disabled looping since this particular sound doesn't really need it. I changed the pitch mode to Radius RT because then Iris 2 can change the pitch of the sound without stretching it. Since the volume is a little weak on this sound, I'll boost these settings somewhat. It may seem a bit extreme, but you'll see how it works out in the end. It doesn't sound bad so far, but I think it still can be better. Next, I'll enable the master filter to remove some of the unpleasant high frequencies. There are a number of filters in Iris 2 that you can work with, and I always start here when shaping the sound. Next, I'll add some delay. I'll turn down the high cut settings a bit so that the transients aren't as prevalent in the echo. Next, I'll also add some reverb, also turning down the high cut. I'm going to turn up the size and density of the reverb so that it's more of a wash. That will give the sound a nice atmosphere. That's more like it. In the end, we have a nice atmospheric chime sound. And I obtained it using just one sample. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Awesome.